Hi, I'm Shari Sternberg here with your mini lesson for today. Today we're going to talk about fractions on a number line. There's a few simple steps that if you follow, you will have no problem placing fractions on a number line. The first thing you need to do, once you have your fraction, we're going to work with three eighths. Make tick marks in equal increments to represent the denominator. So we have eighths. We need eight equal spaces. You need to add one to the denominator to know how many lines you need to make. Eight plus one is nine. So we need to make nine tick marks so that we have equal increments. We use the term eyeballing because we're not going to get out a ruler and measure. We just want to make sure we have equal spaces. So you're going to start at the beginning and you should know that you're going to need four to make the middle and one at the end. Then we're going to do markings in between. And if we count each tick mark, we can see they're equally spaced. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal spaces. So you always need one more line because you have a line at the beginning and the end. Now, where do we place this three eighths on the number line? I always tell my students, Always at the beginning of your number line, put your zero. So we have our zero at the number line. The half mark, and if you're dealing with eights, half of eight is four, so we're going to put four eights in the middle. And then always put the whole fraction. Eight eighths, whatever your numerator is, your denominator should be the same to make the whole. So we have eight eighths making the whole number one. So once you have those three numbers placed on a number line, which you can do for any fraction, then it's easy to see where your fraction goes. Four eighths is in the middle. We know three eighths go right before it. And some students like to number all the spaces. So you could say one eighths, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and continue numbering five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths to see all the numbers and then just pick your number three eighths. So it's a very simple procedure. Let's look at another one. If we're going to look at sixths, we know we need six equal spaces. We know we need seven, add one, tick marks. We're going to put one at the beginning, one at the end. That makes two. We're going to put one in the middle. Now, if we have six, we know we need three on each side. So we're going to add two more ticks, giving us one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the zero mark makes it seven. So seven tick marks. Place the zero, the half, and the whole. Zero is always at the beginning. The whole, we're dealing with six, so we have six six, which equals to one whole. Half of six is three, so we know that three six goes in the middle. Zero, three six, six six. Again, now it's easy to figure out where yours goes. If you have six six, five six is right before six six. So, the best thing about putting fractions on a number line is that it makes it easy to compare. If we want to compare 5 6 and 6 and 3 8, the two numbers we just put on our number line, which is greater? Well, looking at those, it might be hard to see. But if we go back to our number line and we put the two number lines together, here they are, we can see that 5 6 is close to a whole. 3 eighths is before the half, which tells us that 5 6 is greater than 3 eighths. And we can do the same thing if we have 3 6 and 4 eighths. 3 6 we know is in the middle, half. Oh, 4 eighths is also in the middle. So what symbol would I put here? Equals. So look how easy it is to compare fractions when you have fractions on a number line. Hopefully you learned from this mini lesson. Place the zero, the whole number, and the half. You can see where your fraction fits on the number line and easily place fractions and compare fractions using the number line. This has been your mini lesson for today. Back to the show.